I love flying, but when I got up in this plane with this electric propulsion system for the first time, it just re-energized that entire love for this type of, uh, of flying. And you know, the aircraft itself, we've got about a thousand of these things out there flying, so the aircraft is what it is. And we didn't make any changes to the airframe to accommodate this system other than some structural changes to support the weight of the battery. So the airplane flies the same as it does with a thrust output of a similar matter from a gasoline engine. But what stood out is how smooth it was, and it exceeded my expectations in the uh, initial climb performance and cruise testing, and it's just so quiet. It's, it's a whole different world with that level of noise. The noise level is probably a quarter of what it is with a piston engine. Really all you're hearing is prop noise. It's the only aircraft I've ever been able to fly with no hearing protection, and I can still carry on a conversation when I'm done. So it's turning at a lower RPM on a climb. We're turning 1,600 to 1,700 RPMs, and we're down around 1,400 or so in cruise. This is basically a plug-and-play system. We have a throttle, a controller, the motor, and the batteries. That's the four components of the system. We can make changes to the pitch of the prop, but we have a, a motor that turns at a, in this case it's a 2000 maximum RPM motor, and then we make changes to the programming of the controller to control how the uh, controller drives the motor. That allows us to maximize both our climb performance and our energy consumption at cruise. So that's the balance there. Good climb performance and economical cruise. So the propulsion system with two batteries, the complete system, is a little over $9,000, which is equivalent to what the high end of the gasoline-powered engines are. If you add three batteries or four batteries, it brings that up to about 11000 or about $13,000. How's the enthusiasm been at this Sun and Fun for this? Off the charts. That's the busiest we've ever been at Sun and Fun or Oshkosh.